say really quick, I want to bring you a nice food haul from Aldi. As you may know, um, Aldi is one of my favorite places to shop. It has so many fruits and vegetables. I just go straight to that area and their prices are always on point. So this is the food haul that I got. I got some unsweetened almond milk. I got a package of spring mix. And what I really like, the reason why I really like getting spring mix from Aldi is I haven't found it cheaper anywhere else and it's organic. So you'll see it's the large um, container of spring mix, which will last me a few days if I'm eating salad every day. And I do like to eat greens every day, whether it's the spring mix or if it's frozen kale. And the spring mix is always maybe like a $3 and change, never more than $4. And when I shop at Walmart, which I don't do too often, but when I do go there, it's always five dollars six dollars it's crazy it's like their spring mix is almost like um a more expensive grocery store's price like uh, whole foods for example for their greens and yeah so i always 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 get my spring mix from aldi so if you're looking for um a reasonable spring mix you want to get more greens incorporate more greens into your diet they have a great deal on that and it's not like it's a sale price if it's on sale which it does go on sale at times it'll be even lower than that so yeah um i got some sweet peppers which i love to use in raw dishes like salads and i even like to cook with them so they're very versatile and i also got some red onion which is the same thing you know very versatile you can cook with them and you can also just chop them up and throw them into a raw dish I got limes, I got a jar of jalapeno peppers, which didn't last long because <laughs> I love spicy stuff. And um, what else did I get? I got two cans of black olives. I got some mixed raw nuts, and this they're really great with that too. So you know raw nuts are usually very expensive, and their raw nuts are not. And you know, they only have two variety of the mixed brand, but they have um, the almonds, they have a mixed one that has almonds, pistachios, and one other nut that I'm forgetting. Oh, um, wal walnuts. And then the other one has, you'll see it, it'll have um, cashews and a couple of other nuts in there, but, oh, macadamia. Cashews, macadamia, and one other one. But it's so delicious. It doesn't have any salt. It's just raw. You can actually season it how you want. So you can play around and maybe add some chili powder or some chipotle. And if you do want to have salt on it, you can control how much salt you put. So you can just, it's a resealable bag. So you can sprinkle in the seasonings that you want, shake it up and you're good to go. Or if you don't want to season the whole bag, because maybe you have other people that are going to be eating out of it and they may not like the exact same seasonings that you have, or you want to leave some raw just for raw snacking. Um, not leave them raw, but leave them unseasoned for um, regular snacking. You can take some out, season those up in a separate container, and then keep it moving. So yeah, um, what else did I get? I got some organic peanut butter, which is really great to snack on with um, like celery or carrots. And it's very, very filling, or you can even add it to smoothies. So I also got some ground flax, which is really great to add to smoothies. And I also like to add ground flax to salad dressing just to give it a little extra fiber. I don't add too much because you don't want it grainy, but a teaspoon um, and about two tablespoons of salad dressing will go a long way and you'll be adding a lot of extra fiber um, to your salad dressing. So the other thing I got are um, baby carrots, which are really, really great for snacking. They're so convenient. I'm really in a kick of doing um, baby carrots for snacking. They're perfect because they're filling, you know, they're one of the starchy vegetables, even though they're not as starchy as potatoes, but they do have a great deal of starch in there and they keep you full longer than, um, say, something that's not as starchy. And what else did I get? Oh, I got Roma tomatoes, which are so good. They're really extra sweet right now. I don't know um, why that is, but I'm used to getting the cherry tomatoes, but I've been on a Roma tomato kick lately, so I got some of those. And lastly, I got a head of broccoli and I got a head of cauliflower. So again, with um, items that are versatile, the 
broccoli and the um, cauliflower are so versatile because you can eat them raw and you can put them in a salad and you can also um, cook them. So they're really great for stir fry and the other night I made the stir fry with the head of broccoli and put some other veggies in there and some sweet teriyaki sauce and I served, served it over brown rice. It was so good, it was so amazing. And then I also made, um, with the cauliflower, I made a coconut curry dish. So definitely check out my Instagram because I, I'm always posting ideas there for vegan meals, whether it be raw or cooked, you know, healthy. And you can get a lot of ideas from my Instagram. So I'll see you over there. A lot of times I'll even post the recipe along with it. And if I don't, if you see something there that you want the recipe for, just um, give me a shout and I'll get that over to you. So that is my food haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and I'll see you next time. So one of the reasons why I love doing these food hauls is to show that eating a plant-based diet does not have to be expensive. I know that um, it still can be expensive for a lot of people and I'm certainly not saying that, you know, no matter who you are, you can afford it because we always know that there's so many levels of economic standing and, you know, poverty does exist and as well as extreme wealth. But I just want to show that, you know, you can shop around and find discounts and find deals on fruits and vegetables and the reality of it is eating a lot of produce especially if you're on the raw side the reality is it it is a little more expensive but as a vegan in general it's not so you can get like a bag of rice you can get um beans there's so many things that are potatoes <laughs> there's so many things that are on the lesser expensive side but there are certainly certainly a lot of specialty items that are coming out in the vegan community that are amazing, delicious, um, and they're a little bit on the pricey side. So I don't ever want to feel, I don't ever want to make it seem like I'm ignoring the fact that it can be expensive because it can. But I also want to put forth that if you do it a certain way, you can actually save money by switching to a plant-based diet. And yeah, this whole haul was only $35. Aldi is one of my favorite stores to shop at, so I don't know if you have one in your area, but if you do, definitely check them out. Um, this is not sponsored at, in, in any way, but it's just one of my favorite stores. One of the ways that they save money is they um, they don't have anyone pushing carts or um, necessarily bagging your groceries, and they don't even have bags. So definitely, if you're going to go and you've never been, make sure you bring um, some cloth recycled um, bags with you. Or if you like to save your plastic bags from stores that you shop at, definitely take those along. Those That will help you out a lot. If you happen to just be in the area and you don't have your bags with you, they do have boxes that you can put your groceries in so that you have something to put it in um, when you drive them home. But it is kind of a mission getting them into the house in those boxes or if you don't have boxes at all. So little tip if you're going to check out Aldi, make sure you have your recycle bags with you. As always, great being with you guys. Thank you so much for supporting my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh.